powder it looks beautiful without a powder that's the other thing that i noticed the foundation looks beautiful without a powder <laughs> it's so so beautiful uh, hi guys, uh, it's your girl Lady Wendy's and I'm back again to review about the um, Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation. So yeah, I'm going to talk about it today. I'm going to review to you about it. I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of this foundation. So if you'd like to know more about this foundation, stay tuned and don't go away, alright? This is the uh, Dream Liquid Hydrating Foundation. Alright guys, this is the Fit Me um, Maybelline Matte Plus Poreless Powder. So I'm going to use this onto the foundation just to make it matte and yeah, we'll take it from there. So I'm going to put the powder on my eyes and below the eyes, but I'm not going to put it in this area because I want to show if it's dewy or not, just because um, I need to have it on the whole day, I need this powder on, but yeah, I'll leave the forehead, whatever the forehead looks like, that's what the foundation looks like without powder. All right guys, so as you see, this is the forehead, uh, clearly you can see it's a bit shimmerish, you can see that. Uh, from that angle and if you look below the eyes this area I put powder that area I didn't put any powder so yeah that is how it looks without powder on the forehead and with powder right um so the foundation it does say it's 12 hours of hydration does it hydrate your skin for 12 hours on my dry skin and to be honest with you I don't really have those issues of having very dry skin even if i'm a dry skin because i usually oil my skin and whatever oil i put on my skin is enough like i don't have to have a hydrating foundation but to just wrap it up um i feel it's okay as a hydrating foundation it is okay all right so i didn't have a problem with it um i don't even have problems with the with the ones that don't hydrate so probably i might not be the best person to say if it hydrates as much but yeah roughly i didn't have a problem with it that's how i answer that question what i'm reading right now is exactly what was written on the bottle that's what they promised was selling so that's what i bought for so that's what i'm going to look at first yeah so does it visibly improve the skin because um i've used the foundation for about two days and most of the time i try to use the foundation for a long time but i can't really say that it does improve the skin um i can't say it has improved the skin i can't say it doesn't improve the skin because i don't know right now it it will take a year to make observations of how the skin has improved. So about that question, it's a question mark, all right? Yeah, so does it clog pores? It doesn't clog pores. Uh, that's what the seller says. It doesn't clog pores. Does this foundation clog the pores? To be honest with you, my pores clogged. I'm comfortable with it. All right, guys, I've got a few bits on my nose that have pores. <laughs> But um, I don't know how to describe that it does not clog my pores. I just wanted to get close and show you. I don't have a problem with it. Um, it does say it doesn't clog pores, so I don't trust anything that um, shows that it clogs pores for the time that I've worn the foundation for. Um, so the foundation also says it's dermatologically tested. I don't know. It looks like everything about this foundation, I don't know, but we'll get to the part that I really know about. I've got my own experience about the foundation that the bottle doesn't really say so I'm gonna talk about that shortly but let's look at all the things that I don't know and I'll put them aside and say yes I don't know about this one honestly you would have to take a lot of observation and your problem would have to be in that category for you to even see improvement and then you would have to take your time and observe for a long time that means you're using the foundation every day and you're making observations so some of them I might not know but what I observe I will let you know so yeah okay so it does have collagen that's what it says that is a positive i'm happy about that i'll choose it on the basis that i know it has collagen in it it's dermatologically tested it, it um it has hyaluronic acid which helps the skin not to age and the the collagen helps the elasticity of the skin not to um get loose so you know how you get wrinkles you get wrinkles because your skin is um losing its elasticity so the wrinkles shrink the skin so the collagen does help with that 
The hyaluronic acid helps with the uh, dry skin, which also contributes to your skin getting wrinkles. So all these um, advantages about the product are very good for the skin. So I would recommend this foundation for someone who knows their skin is aging. And even if it's not really aging, it's something that you'd look into investing on your skin before it's too late. So I would recommend it to any woman, actually. You don't have to be aging because, to be honest with you, you don't have to look after yourself with this too late. You have to look after yourself early enough to be up to date when it comes to that time when your skin is supposed to age. So I do recommend all these products and I would recommend someone to look into purchasing such a product that has all these things. Although I could not guarantee that, the, that they work, you know, yeah, but the, the product says it's got this product. So I'd rather look into investing into something that um, promises something like that. You know yeah so uh the packaging when we go to the packaging it's a glass i'm going to show you one more time it's a glass if you look at it it's quite big and it's still 30 mils i'm not gonna lie to you because i've seen foundations that are very small at 30 mils and they fit into my purse but this is quite big for my purse i do put it in my purse because i do touch up most of the time so i do put this in my purse sometimes but it's not as comfy as having a very small one but at the same time it's not bad i like the glass because it's classy and it's elegant i would rather have this decorated in my cupboard where i keep my foundation yeah i would rather keep it there and just you know it looks beautiful you know but it's not for packing away all right it's something that i'll just open and just drop a little bit in some other container just to take away rather than packing the whole bottle because it's quite heavy so yeah the packaging is all right it's good it looks nice and the price point is 8.99 i already said it's 30 mils which is most foundation uh, 30 mils 8.99 that's drugstore standard yeah and um it's, so these are my observations about this foundation is it blendable oh yes it is it is blendable to be honest with you if I'm to compare this uh, Dream Radiant Liquid Foundation to the Dream Urban Cover Foundation, the both Maybellines, uh, I'm, I'm going to tell you the truth. This is in the middle. I know the other one was really, really dewy and very oily. It's half matte and it's half dewy. But you know what? I mostly choose the matte side of it. It really dries velvet. That's how I should describe it. It is a very beautiful velvet look. Um, so I'm not going to say it's exactly dewy. Do you, um look at my forehead i did put powder on it yeah but um yeah it does it does dry um into a very very semi velvet look and it does have some dewiness but it's really faint so for me to write it i'm gonna write it like this it's flawless all together wrapping it all together is flawless that's what i can say it's got a mix of the two and it's brilliant i was just telling myself every time i get a foundation and i like it and i'm like most of the time, I'm like, this is the foundation I'm going to use. But at the end of the day, I get another foundation. I'm like, no, 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 no. This is the one I'm going to use. So right now, this foundation, I'm going to look into using it every day if I don't find another one because I've disappointed myself so many times by choosing something. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, no, 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 no. There's a better one. Okay. So right now, this I like. It's half dewy and half matte. And the matteness is not dewy exactly. It's more of a matte. But it's got a mix, which is brilliant. It's perfect. The best way I can describe it is that it was well worked out. That is the word, well worked out. So, um, yeah, is it blendable? I'm going to say it's blendable because the truth of the matter is I didn't take long blending this foundation. It might not be super blendable just because the other one, the oily one, is too, too blendable because it glides with lots of oil, so it's extremely blendable. This is blendable too, and trust you in me, I haven't seen another foundation that that is almost next to the super blendable one. So this is good enough as blendable. I can't say it's not blendable. It is blendable. Yeah, so when... When we go to um does it dry down matte it dries down matte um and it's semi dewy so overall put a powder on this foundation and you'll be good to go by the way if you forget to put a powder it looks beautiful without a powder that's the other thing that i noticed the foundation looks beautiful without a powder <laughs> It's so, so beautiful. But then I also like the undertone. Let's leave the undertone alone because that might only work on exact the exact color that I found. But it might not work on other colors because I do believe that they do um, do certain undertones on a certain color and then do a different undertone on a certain color and not do all the ranges on a particular undertone. So they keep skipping. So I do understand that. The unique factor of this foundation is that 
the one thing that I'll say it's a unique factor. I know there's so many other foundations that are really close to this, um, but because I haven't tried them, I'm gonna tell you the unique factor today. The unique factor is that it's flawless, okay? The word flawless just comes from neat. It's very neat. And it doesn't take too long to blend. I'm not gonna say it's super blendable, but it is so flawless. It gives you a matte look that looks so beautiful, all right? To be honest with you, it is flawless. When you put it on, you're going to get a very nice finished look that doesn't look too powdery and it doesn't look too dewy and it's just in the middle and it just looks nice and smooth. That is the unique factor. Uh, guys, I wanted to tell you that this foundation overall is very good because it's in the middle of the two and it is for both dry and oily skin. Much as it's hydrating, it doesn't exactly give you an oil that you're going to see. You're not gonna see any oil dripping on your skin, so it's also matte. So it's a beautiful foundation for someone who's a combination skin, someone who's a dry skin, and someone who wants to try and they feel the oily skin. I think they can get away with the powder on top of it but i do recommend it if you like it and you feel like yes i want to try it i feel like they've, they've got a range of colors as well yeah it's worth trying you can go to the shops and try try to put it on your hand and check it out it might be because it's my taste it might be it's too much of my undertone that i liked it there's so many reasons as to why i liked it but i don't know about you but do you know what Go check it out, all right? All right, guys, I just did my Christmas shopping. I'm done today. I didn't exactly do what I wanted to do, but I'm happy. I'm going to accept the day the way it comes, whichever way it comes. I'm going to take it the way it is. I'm not going to stress so much. Um, yes. So right now, I'm going to have dinner with the kids, and then we should go to sleep. Tomorrow's Christmas. I'm excited. I'm like, yeah, yes. Um, I'm happy. Yes, I'm still happy. Yes, we keep this positivity going on all right we keep it going never <laughs> never to ever <laughs> <stop it. laughs> yes so yeah guys stay tuned and don't go away thank you for watching don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe don't forget to press that notification bell below so you can be notified every time there's another video from me thank you very much bye